Have you ever seen those videos where people have those rings in their eyes? Like the light rings? Caused by ring lights? Well, let's talk about that in this video. Hey there, I'm Robert Kennedy the Third, RK3, that's me, and welcome to the channel where we talk about the techniques and the technologies of storytelling. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the card up above to go check out the intro video for the channel. So let's get back to the topic at hand. You're probably online a lot right now and you're seeing people create videos or maybe you're in video meetings, you're seeing a lot of eyes with these futuristic looking rings inside of them and you're wondering hey how do i get that too or maybe you're not <laughs> well here's what happens a lot of people when they heard that they needed to get online they were told that they need to get ring lights because that's the proper lighting and that's the way that you need to be seen online now ring lights are not a bad thing ring lights do a lot of good but ring lights were really set up initially for those people who were on sets and do makeup to be able to see the contours of the face a little bit better so ultimately ring lights were not the all-in-one lighting solution for videos video meetings online stories one famous person said it was and so and so people just started using it well here's what we're going to do today if you have ring lights i don't want you to go immediately and toss them in the trash but we do wanna get rid of those circles that are in your eyes based on ring light. So I'm just gonna walk through a couple of ring lights and how they show up in videos. And then I'll share with you a simple thing that you can do to remove those circles from your eyes. For purposes of this demonstration, I've set up two lights in addition to the lights that I normally use. And the first one is just a ring light, about a 10 inch ring light on a boom arm. And the second one is a Sunpack six inch ring light that comes with a stand. You can get grab one of these from Best Buy if you want. And then I've got my Elgato Key Light Air and I'll just be using one of those lights. What you're seeing right now is the Elgato Key Light Air. I, this is the one that I keep, keep on typically because I believe it gives a little bit more of a cinematic feel. I've got a fill light as well, but I don't have that on right now and I won't turn that on for this particular video. Now, I'm gonna turn the key light air off and I've got darkness for the most part with the exception of my accent lighting in the background. Now, I'm gonna turn on the 10 inch ring light that's right in front of me. And first, it, the lights are directly in my eyes and that's a little bit harsh for me but you also see that there is some washing out that takes place right here. And the ring light is maybe about three and a half, almost four feet away from me. And again, this is the 10 inch ring light. And of course you can turn the, the, the brightness up and down to deal with some of the washing out, etc. But again, because it's a ring light, it highlights specific areas of, of my face. I'm gonna turn that one off. And then I'm gonna turn on the Sunpack smaller ring light. This is the six inch ring light and it's not directly in front of me, but if I turn my face a little bit, you'll see the areas of my face that, that, it, that it highlights. Kinda right there, and it's not a bad look. Um, you know, just not my favorite. And then I'm going to go back to the Elgato Key Light Air so that you can see how that looks. Just a more even look overall and I'm gonna if I turn this way, you'll see how it looks. So let me do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a pair of glasses to just add a little bit to this test here. So I'm gonna put these on. And of course you're gonna get a little bit of glare from the monitors. I've turned them down to about two brightness so you can't, you know, it, it's not that bright for the, for the glasses here so you don't get a lot of glare. I'm gonna turn off the key light air and I'm gonna turn on the main ring light. Okay, so there we go. So you can see that you're getting glare and if you, depending on where my glasses are, you can see the actual reflection of the ring light in my glasses, okay? And that's because it's directly in front of me. I'm turning that off and I'm gonna to go to the second light. This is the Sunpack six inch light. 
and I'm gonna be looking directly ahead. It's about maybe five, 10 degrees that way, but you can kind of, depending on where I'm looking, you can kind of see the reflection there as well. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna turn on my key light airs. So if you look there, you do see some reflection because it's glasses, but again, uh, it's a little bit softer, not as harsh. You don't see the big glare. You just kind of, you know that there's lights. There's light somewhere in, in that area. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the lights that I use, I'll post the link in the description below. I'll also post a link to a video where I share how I set up the lights in my office and what I did with the key lights. Now, let's get back to the discussion really quickly. So you've got these lights that are in front of you and you're seeing them directly in your eyes. One of the simplest things that you can do is use the principle of three-point lighting. What exactly is three-point lighting? Three-point lighting is just like what it sounds like. You've got lights at three different points, typically at a 45 degree angle this way, 45 degree angle that way, and then a light behind you to create some depth and definition. Now, you may not always have the light behind you, but at the very minimum, moving the light from directly in front of you to one side of you or to an angle prevents the lighting from shining directly in your eyes. Now, even if you have a ring light, you can move the ring light to this side and then get another lamp or something small, another smaller light on this side to fill in your shadows if you want. Now, it's not always necessary to fill in the shadows. It depends on the look that you want. You may want a little bit more of a cinematic look and you may wanna use the shadows to your advantage to create a little bit more character or interest in your video. Let me know what you think about my lighting setup in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell bing, so you can be notified when I drop new videos. Let me know what you would like me to make videos about next. I'll see you in the next video.